Once upon a time, in a quaint little town, lived a timid and fearful girl named Chihiro. She was like a scared cat, always seeking comfort in the familiar and hesitant to venture beyond her comfort zone. One day, her family decided to take a road trip to a far-off location they had never visited before. As they drove through winding roads and dense forests, they stumbled upon an ancient and mysterious tunnel hidden among the trees. Terrified of the dark and eerie tunnel, Chihiro protested, Dad, Mom, please, let's not go in there. It looks so spooky. Her parents, being adventurous and oblivious to her anxiety, decided to venture through it, encouraging her to follow. Trembling with fear, she reluctantly stepped inside. As they emerged on the other side, they found themselves in a surreal world, unlike anything they had ever seen before. The place seemed magical, with spirits and creatures inhabiting every corner. Chihiro's heart pounded loudly in her chest as she clung to her parents, trying to hide her trembling form. Her parents, however, were captivated by the spectacle and decided to indulge in the delicious food laid out in a tempting feast nearby. Unbeknownst to them, the food was enchanted, and as they ate, they started to transform into pigs. Panicking and on the verge of tears, Chihiro pleaded with her parents, please stop eating, something's not right. But they were already too engrossed in their gluttony to heed her warnings. As the terrifying transformation continued, Chihiro's fear turned into desperation. She realized that they had fallen under some spell that trapped them in this strange world of spirits. Filled with fear and determination, Chihiro knew she had to find a way to free her parents and returned to their world. As she wandered through the mystifying landscape, Chihiro came across an enigmatic figure named Haku. He appeared to be a young man, but had an ethereal quality, like that of a spirit. Despite her trembling legs and fearful demeanor, Chihiro mustered the courage to ask, could you please help me? Um, my parents are in trouble and I don't know what to do. Haku sensed Chihiro's distress and offered to help her rescue her family. He warned, seeing the fear in her eyes. I'll do my best to assist you, but the journey will be perilous. I'll do whatever it takes to save them, Chihiro stammered, trying to hide her trembling hands. Haku explained that she needed to seek out the powerful and unpredictable sorceress, Yubaba, who ruled over the spirit world's bathhouse to break the curse. He cautioned her about Yubaba's cunning and greed but Chihiro knew she had to face her fears for the sake of her family. With Haku as her guide, Chihiro embarked on a thrilling adventure through the spirit world. She encountered spirits of all shapes and sizes, and at every turn, her heart threatened to leap out of her chest. Each encounter taught Chihiro valuable lessons about courage, empathy, and resilience. As they made their way to the bathhouse, Chihiro met another young spirit named Lin, who became her loyal friend. Together, they navigated the strange customs and rules of the spirit world, trying to avoid drawing too much attention to themselves. Finally, they reached Yubaba's grand bathhouse, a towering structure filled with steam and bustling spirits. Yubaba, a formidable and imposing figure, seemed amused by Chihiro's timid appearance. What brings such a weak and frightened girl to my bathhouse? Yubaba sneered. Chihiro swallowed her fear and spoke with determination. I may be scared, but I won't let fear stop me from saving my family. Please, let them go. Yubaba laughed, amused by the girl's audacity. Very well, if you can solve my riddle, I'll consider releasing them, she said, her eyes gleaming with mischief. Yubaba's voice echoed through the grand bathhouse as she presented the first riddle to Chihiro. In the morning, I have four legs. At noon, I have two legs. And in the evening, I have three legs. What am I? Chihiro furrowed her brow, her mind racing to find an answer that would satisfy Yubaba and save her parents. After a moment of contemplation, she took a deep breath and answered confidently. The answer is a human they crawl on all fours as a baby in the morning of their life. At noon, they walk upright on two legs as an adult. 
And in the evening, when they grow old, they may need a cane or support, representing three legs. Yubaba's eyes narrowed as she acknowledged the correct answer. She was both surprised and intrigued by Chihiro's intelligence and determination. But not one to concede easily, Yubaba offered another riddle. Well done, young one. But let's see if you can solve this one. What comes once in a minute, twice in a moment, but never in a thousand years? Chihiro's heart pounded again, and she carefully listened to the riddle. This one seemed trickier, but she wasn't about to back down. She thought deeply, counting the seconds in her mind. Then a spark of insight shone in her eyes, and she answered with newfound confidence. The answer is the letter M. It appears once in the word minute, twice in the word moment, but it never appears in a thousand years. Yubaba's stern expression softened slightly, and she nodded in acknowledgement. Impressed by Chihiro's wit and bravery, Yubaba hesitated before agreeing to release her parents. This pivotal moment marked the turning point in Chihiro's journey, showing her that even in her weakest and most fearful state, she possessed the strength to overcome challenges and save those she loved. However, there was a condition. If Chihiro ever wanted to leave the spirit world, she would have to remember her real name. If she forgot it, she would be trapped there forever. Grateful for her family's freedom, Chihiro bid farewell to Haku and promised to find a way to free him from Yubaba's control. As she and her parents crossed the threshold back to their world, a magical haze washed over them, and they couldn't remember a thing about their adventures in the spirit world. All except Chihiro, who clung to the memory of her experiences and the strength she had found within herself. Back in the real world, Chihiro and her family continued their journey. They couldn't recall the enchanting realm they had visited, but Chihiro was forever changed. She had learned that even the weakest and most fearful of hearts could find courage and strength in the face of adversity. And so the spirited away young girl carried those lessons with her, treasuring the memories of her otherworldly adventure and the family she had saved.